mother when she got old. To say that Michael Singleton loves genealogy is a bit of an understatement. His home is proof of that. And a look into Singleton's past may provide an explanation of why that is. My looks and my father's were, they were just getting farther apart. When I found that out, um, we were still in the Vietnam area. I went to the MEP station in Oakland and he asked me for a birth certificate. I did not have one. He um, asked me other questions and then he left and he said that um, the hospital that you said that you were born in has no record. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then he said, we did some other calls and he goes, you have a problem here. Um, you're illegitimate or you're adopted. At 19, Singleton learned that while his mother was his biological parent, he had been adopted by the father who raised him. His biological father's name had been crossed off his birth certificate. When he told his parents what he learned, Singleton said his mother didn't want to talk about it. He said telling his brothers was a very emotional experience. I got shut down from my mother and I just kept it inside me. And I brought it up and I said, I should have told you this, but um, you guys are my stepbrothers. You're not my full brothers. And, oh, that flaked them out. I didn't know what to do. They got emotional. All of a sudden, what? You're my older brother, and now you've just taken half of that away? It wasn't until after his mother's death that Singleton said he found clues to the identity of his biological father. Among her belongings, he found a baby book with his biological father's real name, Paul Lewis Marble. He also found a photograph in a hope chest of his mother with marble. Many years later, through taking a DNA test and help from his family, Singleton discovered that he had a sister named Michelle in North Carolina with whom he shared a biological dad, though their father Paul did not raise either of them. Singleton said Michelle had expressed excitement over email at becoming a part of Michael's family. Now she has um, all these cousins, all my seven you know sons and daughters and grandsons and all these things that want to see her and want to talk to her and 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 stuff like that um she has emailed some excitement you know like wow i grew up as an only child that sucked and then i didn't have a father that wanted to be around me and then we started it and he passed away and now I have a br half brother. Life's changing. Since discovering that he had a sister, Singleton said he has yet to meet Michelle in person. Singleton's daughter recently set up a GoFundMe page to fund a meeting between the two. Please find the link in the web story below. Singleton said a message that he would like to share is this. If you're adopted, if you have a chance to do a DNA kit, it's going to start your journey and then you'll you'll just be able to say i i was adopted uh, i'm no longer i'm uh part of somebody's family kaylee dewitt abc4.com